Charlene here from Radical Feng Shui with Charlene and I'm finishing up the next three animals starting with the rat. Now typically the rat is the first of the uh, zodiac and there's a story behind it. So the Jade Emperor put out um, a, be a be beacon to he wanted to find 12 animals to fill the Chinese zodiac. So the rat, so this is why the rats are uh, they're really um, seen as like clever, very clever. So the rat's like, I want to, I want to win that, but how do I get there? Because I'm small and I have to cross the river. So the rat went up to the ox and talked to the ox and said, hey, can you give me a ride across the river because of this contest? And because you're in the water and you're a big animal, you win first. So the ox went, yay. The rabbit saw that and jumped on the ox's back as well. So they went across the river, the rat was smart and jumped off before the ox reached the other side, ran up and won the contest, which is why the rat is the first of the Chinese animals. The, the ox did make it second, but the tiger came in and took over for the rabbit, came third, and that's why the rabbit is the fourth animal of the year we're celebrating today. Okay, so I'm gonna to talk to you more about the rat. Um, the mythology tells us this is the story, and rats are considered quick-witted, resourceful, smart, but often lack courage. So what they do, because they're not boldly courageous like the tigers, the bravest and the most courageous. What rats do, they, they have a way of being clever enough to manipulate situations to get what they want so that they get what they want without having to go in with full force and be forceful. They use their wit. They're very quick-witted. Um, they um, have a rich imagination and are observant so they know how to take, to take advantage of situations just like I mentioned. They're very diligent and they're thrifty. So they tend to be seen in the Chinese Zodiac as prosperous and wealthy because they know how to, they know how to be resourceful and they don't overspend. They, in fact, the metal rats, they tend to be hoarders. Like they love bling, so they hoard things. So that's how they end up being kind of thrifty. Um, rats will take on the world in a way of learning new skills. So that's their way of getting out there in the world. They're not leaders as they hold back it may keep their minds it may keep their mindset limited they depend on it depends often on the hour of which the rat of the rat was born like i said i'm a monkey born in the hours of the sheep makes me a little more romantic well rats born in the hour of the tiger are going to be more vibrant a little more courageous etc etc so there's two hours for each animal in the day starting at 11 it's like 11 to 1 1 to 3 3 a.m and p.m so that's how we find out the hour now rats are they put family and friends first which is really great they can be really picky and critical but um if they like learn as they grow they evolve to be more um you know more they, they tend to help people as opposed to be critical they know how to give positive criticism so that's the evolution of rats energy so right now oh before i go any further rats align with sagittarius in the western system okay so let's look at wood rats oh and i didn't give you the years of the rat they're born in 1948 1960 1972 1984 1996 2008 and 2020 but the wood rat was born in 1924 and 1984. these rats tend to be independent self-confidence they're multi-talented, they get a lot of work done, and they work well as part of a team. Fire rats, on the other hand, they're the most energetic, they're, they tend to be um, the bravest of all, uh, they're social, they love, they love being with friends, and they tend to be strict on themselves. So they're very out there, but they're very self-critical. And I think that's part of a fire wanting to burn out the impurities, that they tend to look at themselves a little differently. They're born in 1936 and 1996. Earth rats, 1948 and 2008, they're um, the most honest and friendly of the rat crew. They're modest, they're flexible, they're serious and they have a salt, but they have a really um, strong sense of self-esteem. They tend to be a little more grounded as all earth animals are. Metal rats born in 1960 and 2020. These rats are very smart, very talented. They, you know, they love bling, so they collect things, like they like things that are pretty, like, you know, nice silverware, nice things. I, you know, I have a couple of metal rat friends and they really do love their bling. Um, they're very self-aware and 
they like they tend to be a little jealous and they because they want the things done their way so when it's not done their way they want they want their influence to be in there so that's the metal rat now the water rats they're um they're talkative they're shrewd and conservative and they're the wisest of all the rats and i think the water element that gives them all that opportunity to explore the various parts of water like i talk about one water personalities being very intelligent because they take things deep to think about them so this is kind of where this comes from now rats do well with monkeys like myself and dragons but they should stay away from horses and they should stay away from sheep so that's my little talk about the rat and i'll be back next with the tiger.